have very similar haircuts at the moment. We do, because we both get them done in the same place. Yeah. <laughs> Today we are doing a boy zone car day. We're doing an oil change on the Golf because it, it needs it. It's 11,000 miles now. And then our friend Ollie is coming around with his say Ibiza and we're doing front distance pads. Yep, front distance. I say we, Dave and Ollie are probably going to do it. Are we? Oh, I privilege. I'm just, I'll just film it. You'll just watch. You can be yeah. like the teacher. So let's go before we all freeze. <laughs> Uh, come, come down really slowly. Do I? Because the jack on this side's gone onto two. Oh. Yeah. One over. Oh, you alright? It's getting well today, isn't it? What happened there? That latch just um, wasn't all the way in. So the whole thing's just dropped. Yeah. I feel, I feel like we should just do Ollie's car. <laughs> this is not going well. And then it? me just like do it another week. Do yours. Because <laughs> Ollie's spent money on this. <laughs> I reckon it'll hazel go quick. Dave? Yeah? Um, could you just grab some kitchen roll? Yeah, sure. Cheers, mate. Oil is out, and it is also on my ham. Cheers, mate. I think I've made a video about this already, which is why I've not really filmed much of it. If you want to go see that, there'll be a little pop-out banner in the corner, top right-hand corner, where it's nice and warm, and we're not all shivery. <laughs> So this is a Crossland one, which I normally buy Bosch. Yeah. But you see how... That's got like a flange on the bottom of yeah. it, which the other one doesn't have. Doesn't have. See how it's like ever so slightly... Yeah, it's not tall. Just what, two, two mil? Mm-hmm. It might be, though. Know, it might be that way. Mm. Ah. It is the same overall height, look. Yeah, that's probably it, isn't it? The golf is done. So after I do an oil change, I continuously check the oil for like two or three weeks afterwards just because I don't trust myself. Right, so Ollie is here. We're working on Ollie's, what do you call it actually? The snot machine. <laughs> the snot <laughs> rocket. The snot rocket. So it's the Seat Ibiza FR, 1.4 TSI, 150 PS, auto. So it's probably pretty rapid because I think these weigh like 1300 kilos or less, 12, probably 1200. Bit more when you're in it. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is at some point today, going to put new discs and pads on the front. And what's made you want to change them? Uh, my MOT advisory. Your MOT <laughs> advisory. We were talking about MOT yeah. advisories earlier, weren't we, Dave? We were. How advisories are sometimes just put in place to... Well, it's my, my second in a row. Oh, second. <laughs> I, I believe uh, it may... It was advised the first time, then you did a year, and then it was advised the second yes. time. Yes. Right, got it, got it. Persuasion, look at that. Second one down. Time to get the calvers off. This is how Ollie opens a box. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Box of tissues, saw. Right, so we're currently in the car. Oh, Dave, you need some fuel. Yes, I've got 27 miles. Why are we in the car? Because Dom doesn't have the right tools again. Uh, so we're going to the best hardware store in the world, which I'm going to keep a trade secret, and I'm not going to tell you where it is, so goodbye, internet. Going into Narnia. They are pretty cool. Ooh. I don't know how this has happened, but uh, we're an Aldi. <laughs> and the seven mil fits, woohoo! So that spring is holding that pad against the caliper. So if you get come up from this angle and just go left a bit, there's like a little hole, that's it. That's it, keep going. And then same on the bottom. And I'll check the brake fluid. God, it does smell of oil in here. <laughs> Ollie accidentally left the oil cap off when he drove here. So there's a bit of spillage, but uh, nothing to worry about. And the bag blew onto Dave's lovely driveway, so we've got some oil spillage going on here as well. Miraculously, I'm not responsible for any of it. <laughs> the wind is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the pad is off and this is on the left. It's on the so lead. near side, yeah. On the inside, of the inside of the car and, and yeah it's got quite a groove in it this pad so you can see there I'll do a there's, quick slow-mo there's, there's one there and then one there, there. <laughs> so, <laughs> good thing you changed them so that is what a grooved pad looks like so there's the disc which has got a nice groove on it so this is the inside face of the car and it's pretty corroded and you can see that the pad actually matches straight up so yeah nice easy job all right what's happened 
that's what's happened. So this this is the new pad and this is the old pad and the old pad is a different shape altogether as well as it's got the little clippy thing on it which I'm pretty sure is built in mm -hmm. um, to that pad. So we've got the wrong brake pad so we're going to have a think about what we're going to do. Okay, so back in Dave's garage, what day is it? It's Monday, it was Sunday yesterday, there's Dave, uh, he's, he's literally just got in from work as well. I look like a bit of a thug because it's even cold, it was half a degree this morning. I know. And um, Ollie's car is still here, but you went and got the new pads today. Yeah, I, I, actually, I actually bought the wrong ones because the system told them that they were the right ones, <laughs> and I checked them, and they were the wrong ones, so, so you, I had to buy some more ones. Euros failed on the Ibiza. Ollie went and bought some new bolts, just to double check for 20 quid, and I went and got some Loctite, so teamwork makes the dream work. And I, I'm, we're waiting for Ollie, but yeah. I'm going to get started cleaning the brake discs up because it's really cold and I want to go to bed at some point tonight, so... I'm excited to uh, go out in this later. Are you? Yeah. Are you going to do for a spin? Well, we should do. These pistons are actually so big that my little tool is almost sitting inside the hole in the piston. So Dave returned the pads earlier and um, there's still one sat here, so you only returned three. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, well, um, if anybody That's... wants one brake pad that doesn't fit a say Ibiza, <laughs> yeah. don't know what it fits. Oh, Skoda Octavia, it's... it said. Yeah, Skoda Octavia. Touched by Detailer Dave. Leave a link in the comment below. <laughs> <laughs> You alright? Can you tell when I'm like... Yes, like, I can. Yeah. Because I've known you for quite a long time I feel, now. I feel like I do it quite a lot, actually. <sighs> What's wrong? I'm not happy, Dave. Why? Well, What's either wrong? something's wrong, or... This disc is too thick. Oh, great. So, who wants to explain the sitch? This is real world. This is real life. This, this is, is horrendous. This is the reality of... This is your car parts. <laughs> So, as with the pads, we went online and ordered the ones that the number plate suggested and we purchased them and we had them on Saturday in a box. Then we realised the pads were wrong. So, today I went to get the pads, Ollie went to get new caliper bolts, we met, reconvened in my garage, put the discs on and then we realised this was the wrong size because the offset's different. Which And the diameter. I'm not going to say that because it makes us look like idiots. <laughs> the offset's the offset different. The offset was wrong. <laughs> So now, this is Monday, it's going to roll into Tuesday, and then it'll have taken us... Four days. Four days to do a two hour job. <laughs> Day four of the infamous brake disc and pad change on my Say Ibiza. I've just got off the train again, hoping to be able to drive home this evening, but we shall see. See what parts Dave manages to bring home from Euro parts today. Could be one that worked. Just gonna have to wait and see. Just uh, walk to uh, what seems to have become headquarters from the last few days. So you join me, day four, stuck in traffic on the M56. It is completely standstill. And here's the inside the road. There is no cars. Here is the cars in front of me. Oh, motorcycle, it's all right for him. Stuck. My sat nav said that I would get home half five to start, and it's now saying quarter past six. So it's 45 minute delay, and we're not moving. So it's getting worse. Great. Two hours later. Here's Dave. Say hi, Dave. Hi. Uh, look, it's me, Dave. But I'm a cartoon. <laughs> I'm a car. Hey. And how far away are you? 28 miles. And Ollie's probably just about here right now. Yep. And the brake discs are in the back of my car. Ollie! Oh. Here's Dave. Hi. Hello. <laughs> are you stationary? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Good job I've got some groovy biscuits for us to eat. Some what? Some groovy biscuits. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> On my side, this is not moving. Here he is. I can barely see your face. He's literally like it's a silhouette. Really, it's really cold and it's really dark. 
but the discs are here. Oh, here's his lamp. Here's his bedside lamp <laughs> that we've been using as a work lamp for four days. And it turns out it's actually a posh lamp off the side in a bedroom yeah. in his house. And it's now covered. And it's covered in grease and dirt and yeah, it's disgusting. Apologies, yeah, Dave. You. We've all made sacrifices for these breaks. We've made very many sacrifices. Um, so, discs, pads, and calipers on. Woo! You won't need too much. They're probably already at 20 something. So, you won't need much on that part. Is this all? Here you go. Because you're such a beast already, you Dom can tighten to 25 newtons by hand. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's getting That's on the old coronavirus. Yes. That might be relevant when people actually watch this video. Oh, yeah. By the time Don makes a video, coronavirus will be not a thing anymore. This is a tool for painting. So this is a scraper. You use this bit to clean your um, your roller off. But, conveniently, it's got a little bottle opener. Is that not meant to be a painting opener? They don't call it a bottle opener. No. <laughs> I can't imagine a painter and decorator. It's definitely a bottle opener. So painter and decorator is going to say, Here, Dave, <laughs> pass us my bottle opener so I can open this tin. Yeah, all the paint's got on the beers. That looks like a fresh disc. With fresh pads. Yeah. And some pissed off people. <laughs> so, this is the last bit. It's 18 minutes past eight. And um, we're just putting the left wheel on. The right one's already on. Here's the happy faces. Hi. We're going for a test drive. It does sound really good, doesn't it? <laughs> happy? Yeah, yeah, feel I'm driving that. again. <laughs> Rudy! <laughs> yeah, buddy! <laughs> I like it. It holds, it holds that. Do you hear the turbo going? <laughs> oh yes! I'm very happy. I can park my car in the garage again now. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a bit of a different video, hopefully entertaining. So always remember, right is tighty, lefty loosey. Make sure you like and subscribe.